And we're off. Let's go. Beautiful night here for some soccer at Harris Field. I'm with my commentating partner, Andrew Gu, and just have a good good performance for yep. everyone. So, starting lineup for tonight, we got uh, Thomas Borkowski, junior in goal. Then we got uh, Sam Kutzman on the left. Got Alex Duda on the right. And then we got uh, Alex Serve on the... Alex Serve on the right, excuse me. <laughs> and the two holding mids today are Nikola and Andrew. And at the 10, we have Patrick. Left wing back, Owen. The right wing back, Alex Cook. The free roll, Satchel. And up top, we have the one and only Daniel Liu. So this game should be pretty good. You know, Belmont started off with a 2-1 victory in a late, uh, late stunner over Cambridge. Daniel Liu scored the winning goal. And uh, Winchester have not lost any of their three games. Uh, they've won three in a row. Uh, I think they've scored like 20-something goals. 20-something goals. They've had a very good start to their season, and it'll be a good test for everyone today. Yep. <laughs> Early free kick, free kick here for Winchester. Number seven is taking it, it looks like. And he takes it. Chip. And it's out. Yep. Belmont running their 3-5-2 formation, three center backs. We got two two holding mids, double pivot, and then we got one one uh, Tanner free roll and Sachel. Oh, and, then and wait, Winchester has a has a chance here. Good step from Alex Duda. Uh, Patrick clear. turns. Can he find the long ball? Back to serve. And serve gets the foul, rightfully deserved. Now he'll look to take this long. Or go short. Right back to serve. And Winchester, good pressure. Back to Alex Duda. He's gonna find Nikola in the middle. Good turn. That's class. That is absolute class from the boys right there. Now ball out to Owen Filler. What he a takes touch a lovely Filler. touch. He drives forward. Owen's still going, still going, and oh. Looks like it's going out of bounds, unless Nikola can hustle. No, he cannot. Good good start for Belmont there, though. Great start, yeah. Both teams looking like they're definitely in the mood for high intensity today. Yep. Owen heads the ball out to Sacho. It's going to take a nice touch. Goes up the left wing. Sacho oh, goes by two players and right out of bounds. Good header by Owen. And number eight for Winchester. What can they build out of this opportunity? Thomas has m so much time, and he's just gonna, yeah. He's gonna take that time. Now Thomas, scanning for an option. What he's gonna do, he's gonna pass it short to Alex Duda, center back. Alex Plays it long. Look long. Oh, and just misses Daniel. That's an unlucky, unlucky play, but good effort. What can Winchester do here to the goalie? Blowing out of the back. High pressure from Belmont. We know how that's how, that, how, to, how, that's how they play in their system. High oh. pressure. And good shot from Patrick there. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but first shot of the night? That is the first shot of the night indeed. Belmont's off to a hot, hot, hot start here. <laughs> See some varsity players waving to me right now? How's it going, guys? <laughs> so Winchester, the goalie's going to look to... Tuck his players in and go long for the goal kick. And it does go long. Can the, either team win this in the air? And Winchester gets it. Owen plays it long to Daniel. Who can he find? Schreiner making a run in. Intercepted by number six from Winchester. Back to Nikola. To Owen Filler. To Sam. Duda has it. Good movement here from Belmont. Can Satchel turn? No, but good ball to Filler. Kutzman, good feet. Oh, Still good. in. And Belmont controlling most of the ball right now. Yep. Oh. That looked like a push there, but the ref's going to allow it. And is that out of bounds? 
Looks like it is. It is. Winchester's, Winchester's ball. ball. And they have it in the box. What can they create out of this? Nikola, lovely clear out to Patrick, who now has an opportunity. Winchester heads it. And number 13 is going to look to play into number 8. Number 8 back to 13. Good link up play here from Winchester. Number 10. What can you know he's do? good with that beautiful number 10. Oh. And good, good effort there by Alex Serve. Winchester. He's driving forward. Into the box. Good clearance. And Owen. And it looks like Owen's just going to kick it out. Good decision there from Belmont. Great start by Belmont here. They've controlled most of the ball. Good defensive effort. Had a few offense opportunities. One shot. Alex Serve with the booming header. He's going to clear it back out to Winchester, who's looking to find a through ball. Winchester's been good so far on the, on the counterattack and on the press. They've been very high up on the field. But Belmont seems to be controlling more of the possession and building it out of the back like they do. Well said. Oh. Number five throws into number 10. Lovely touch off the thigh. Oh, that is a soaring ball. Can Daniel Lou get there first? Number 12 gets there. Number 12 gets there. And oh, good step by Andrew. Finds Satchel. Satchel onto what his can favorite he create? foot. <laughs> good tackle from Winchester. What can they do now? Driving forward to number nine. Good step by Alex Serve there. Alex Cook looking Alex to create Cook. something. He's going to get stuffed up on the right-hand side there. Winchester is going to recycle the ball back out to their center backs. Both teams seem to have good ball movement. What a turn from number seven. Gets past Sam. Number eight on the top of the box. Can he get a shot off? He can't. Number seven can, though, but it's blocked. Good defense there from Belmont. And something Belmont is always really good at is having amazing depth on the bench. They're waving yeah. to us right now. They have very good players on the bench, uh, including uh, Lawrence, too, a freshman. Got Tomas Estrada Donahue, very good attacking midfielder. Bowden Harris, very, very good at defense. And overall, just great, great squad here. Let's not forget the two goalies, Arjun Pai and Clement Bulabula, who are some of the best goalies in Middlesex. Just Belmont has some of the best goalie depth I've ever seen in high school. Yep. Honestly, any of Belmont's goalies right now could probably start for a varsity team in the Middlesex League. I agree with that take, Andrew. I like that. Oh, Judah loses it. Winchester driving forward. What can I do with this? Winchester. Oh. Good blockage by serve, and that's absolute clash from Alex Duda. It's great recovery there, and Alex Cook, great effort on the line to try to bring the ball back. Number five is going to throw it down the line to number nine. What can he do? Alex Cook, good play. Just gets it out of there. And throws it in to number number 10. Number five takes it. Battling with Alex Cook. Number nine. What can he do? Oh, he's a very creative player. And he kicks it right into Sasha Kendrick. Okay. Great block. Great block there. Andrew, let's go back to about two years ago, I'm pretty sure, when Winchester and Belmont played on soccer night. What a game that was. I'm not sure if you can remember, but Winchester actually scored a, a last-minute winning goal. And... It was just a phenomenal game. Let's hope we can have another great game today from both teams. I agree with that take, Iggy. It was just a great game, excellent game from both sides, and it looks like we're going to have another stunner tonight by the way these two teams are playing right now. Very high intensity, high pressure. It's what you love to see in this game. And cross in. Oh, and Owen Filler's driving forward. Owen Filler with some space. Plays a great ball into Daniel. Unlucky there. And, and Owen Daniel Filler. is driving forward. <laughs> Winchester looking to build out of the back on the right hand side with their right back. Right backs going to try to play long, but nicely covered by serve. Good header by Satchel. Oh, 
Daniel Luhasek can get a shot off. Can he? Oh, Winchester. They have it. I'm almost positive the number nine is the one who scored the last minute winning goal for, for Winchester a few years back. That could be the case. He looks to be an excellent player so Very far. Very good player. Now, number 10 plays into number seven on Winchester. Tripped Any, up. Oh. Good idea from Winchester. Thomas has it, playing it right out of the back as soon as possible. Sam Kuz been driving forward. Right to Owen Feather. He's going to take him on. He's going to play Nicola in the middle. Good movement here from Belmont. Andrew Schreiner loses it. Number 10. Good ball forward. What can Winchester do? Can they get a shot off here? Oh. And right over the net. Great, great defensive work by Winchester there. And really yeah. good to get the shot off. Unlucky, couldn't connect, but just great oh, play. Oh, the goal kick's already gone through. Oh, where's the talk there? Satchel wins it back. What can he do? And number nine, is that a foul? Foul on Winchester, Belmont ball. So if we're gonna go long here, just play it simple, short. He has the ability definitely to do both. Good creative player out of the back, as well as good leg to- Very good with his feet, I agree. Ping it up long. Looks like he's gonna go long and he does. Ping to Alex Cook, wins it in the air. Number 10 driving forward. Very dangerous player he seems to be. Can you get a shot off? Good step by Andrew Schreiner over there. And Filler has it. Back to Sam. And Winchester driving forward. They have space. Cross into the box. Good interception there from Owen Filler, I think. Back out to Winchester at the top of the box. Alex Serve, nice header on there. And Andrew Schreiner. It's a bit of a bit of chaos over there. And looks like Lawrence, too, the freshman, is warming up, ready to go into the game. He's a very promising talent. I agree superbly with that take, Iggy. Uh, Lawrence got a lot of minutes in Cambridge, very, very, against Cambridge, excuse me, very, very good player. And now we have Belmont has a free kick. Has a set piece, yep. Schreiner. Looks like he's trying to find Satchel, but he just can't. He goes long instead to uh, Winchester wins it in the air. Filler. Nikola, can you have a shot? Blocked. And Schreiner has it. Finds Cook. Finds Cook. Oh, just wide. Great offensive effort by Belmont there. You love to see it. Now we have a substitution. It looks like number 16, freshman Lawrence Two, is going to take off number 21, senior captain Nikola Stefanovic. That's correct. And Schreiner putting in that work. And Patrick is there. Chips it over the... Can Daniel Lou got there? Oh. That is a little, a little interesting. Right back to the keeper. Interesting play by Winchester in the back there, but good effort from both teams. And, and serves there to intercept the ball. What can he do with it? He has time and space. He uses that space well. Back to Lawrence. Touch forward from Lawrence. Driving to Schreiner. Plays Alex Cook through. And number six of Winchester does a great job settling the ball there. Props to him for that. Now it looks like Nikola Stefanovic got a bit of information from his coach, head coach Neiman Kinkray, and now sub off Lawrence too. Good shift from Lawrence there. Moved the ball well. Although it wasn't the longest time, it was good performance. Patrick Tang's gonna find Patrick. the header. Good job winning that in the air. Belmont has done a good job controlling the ball so far in this game. I agree, some ex excellent play. Yeah. They've, yeah, they've really been controlling Winchester, it feels like. Don't you agree, Andrew? I do agree, Iggy. It, it seems to be, well, good effort from both teams. Seems that Belmont has had a lot of possession in this game. And hopefully Belmont, or Belmont will hope 
to continue that momentum forward. We can't be biased here, guys. Nope. I just want to thank everyone at home who's watching us, and um, I just want to thank you for watching the Media channel. And Patrick has it. Right back to Nikola. Back to Patrick. Good one, too, there. Can you have a shot? Oh. Ah, good link of play there from the two midfielders. Patrick Tang, number seven, very good with his feet. Always a great passer, and just found Nikola there in the space. Nikola with a great shot opportunity. Two players who have been on varsity since their uh, sophomore year, very talented players, both of them. Winchester has a goal kick, looking to take it long again. Winchester up to the 50-yard line, and Andrew Schreiner's there with a great header. And Sasha finds Patrick. Good work from Patrick. Oh, miscommunication with Alex Cook there. And looks like even on a, even on a Tuesday night here in Belmont, there seems to be a great crowd. Great crowd, great crowd. Majority of the stand is filled up with parents, players, students alike. Make sure everyone is coming to soccer night this Saturday at 4.30. Yep. Yep. The boys are playing first, the girls shortly after, and it'll be a great night of soccer. As ev If you've been there before, it's, it's electric. You know, it's the only, that's the only way I can put it. It's so many fans, and it's really a magical day for anyone that's playing soccer or just watching it back at home couple thousand people in the crowd every time there's a soccer night overall it's, it's truly amazing it's a great event now we're gonna have sam kutzman on the left what can he do plays a ping ball down to daniel leal can't quite get a hold of that and winchester will scoop it back up and good defensive work from belmont there out to patrick patrick has it back to owen filler schreiner making good running behind any good touch from schreiner and that's off Schreiner, if I'm correct. Yeah, Winchester ball. And look at that ball boy running down the sideline. Seems like he might have a future in track and field. <laughs> or in soccer. And so Winchester now has the throw deep in their own territory on the right-hand side. Let's see if they can create something from this throw in. And so, it looks like it's going right back to Belmont. It is. Can Schreiner turn? Good turn from Schreiner. What can you even do against that? Number five from Winchester wins it. What a turn. Now Belmont will be looking to use their great press. Look at that high press from Belmont. Absolutely fantastic. And cool. Is everyone okay there? Everyone's good. And quick free kick. Winchester on the counter. We, th we know this is what they do best. And he's in. Oh, we can't find him. Good interception from Duda. And Cook, corner for Winchester. First great. One, first corner of the game. Just overall great defensive plays from there, especially Alex Duda on that play. Saved a potential goal-scoring goal opportunity. Way to intercept that. You'd love to see it. And Lawrence, too, looks like he's warming up again, going back onto the field. And Winchester with a corner. Looks like they have one man short. And majority of players lined up on the uh, outside half of the box. Lawrence two going in for Andrew Schreiner. Playing the other six role as he did before with Nikola. Schreiner may have just taken a little blow to the finger. To so the finger it looks like. He's going to get some ice there from the trainer. And no one hits that. Calmly collected by Filler, who knocks it out. And once again, good defense from Belmont. Winchester plays it in. Great knock on by Lawrence, too. And now Belmont will look to counter. Sato Kankere. Jules pass, so no, not quite. Throw for, for Belmont here. And Winchester. Good interception by Lawrence. Lawrence again. Again. And he controls it and plays it back to serve. That's a brilliant play from the freshman. And Cook. See, oh, I didn't even see that. Look at Patrick there. 
Patrick with some space. Lovely through ball to Satchel. Satchel onto his, his left foot. Plays Daniel, and it doesn't quite get there. Good build-up play from Belmont. Great link up by the team overall. And now... Uh, now Daniel Liu has it. Can you get a shot off? You can. Daniel Liu. And hits oh. the crossbar. Unlucky hits the crossbar from an outside the box shot. And Ball Belmont still has it. Can you get a shot off? Another shot. Satchel. Back to Satchel. Okay. Oh. Just over. That is a brilliant play from Belmont. Two fantastic chances. The crowd's clapping everywhere. That's brilliant. Even has us commentators <laughs> clapping. That was just too good. Yeah. What a chance there from from Patrick and from from Satchel. Wow. From Daniel and from wait, who shot the, who shot the second one? Uh, Satchel. Satchel. Okay. Yeah. Daniel and Satchel and Patrick drops the penny. It looks like. So, <laughs> a little bit of a mix up on the substitution, but Andrew Schreiner will sub off. Number seven, Patrick Tang. Great work by him on that link-up play. And overall, found the through ball to Satchel mm. on the right-hand side. Just great play. And Outstanding Nico. play. And Nico wins that aerial duel. It looks like Lawrence, too, is shifting back into the 10 roll. He was in the six before. And, yeah. Sam wins that. Winchester, number 10, driving forward. What a creative player he is. Owen Filler with a throw in on the left hand side plays Lawrence with a knock on header down to Nikola. Calmly controls it and will play it back down the line to Filler. We know when Owen Filler has those good long throws. We saw it last game, which ultimately led to the goal, the winning goal that Daniel Lou scored. Long throws is a, I don't know, it's just a, a good tactic that you really want a guy on your team that can do that long throw. And now and Winchester. Nine driving forward and takes a heavy touch that doesn't end up going anywhere. And we've seen last five minutes, great chances from both teams, goal scoring opportunities from both teams. So great, exciting match that we have here. Great night of soccer, boys. Great night of soccer. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for that. And now Thomas Borkowski will play it short to Sam Kutzman on the left-hand side. We'll find Nikola at the six roll. Nikola with a lovely turn, makes one man Lose him, and now Nikola will play it back to Duda. We'll find space to play a lovely through ball to Lawrence. Plays to Sachel and out to Owen Filler on the left side. Owen Filler, can you find Andrew Schreiner making that running behind? He can. Now Schreiner with an opportunity. What can you make out of this? Alex Cook is going to cross it into the box. He's going to drive forward and cross block. Corner for Belmont. That was just excellent play out of the back there. Started with Thomas Borkowski from the goal kick. Lovely passes and ended up with a, a corner. corner for Belmont. Yeah, beautiful. And Satchel Kenrake is going to take this corner. Belmont looks like they're stacking on the goalie, so he's going to use his left foot to curl the ball inside, and there's going to hopefully get a crash there. Little over. Duda, uh, just too far. And Winchester will see it out for a throw-in. Now Winchester looking to create something again from this throw-in. Plays it in. And a step by Owen Filler to see the ball out of play. Now Andrew Schreiner will play it and a Unlucky control from number five from Winchester. And looks like it will be a Belmont throw. And so Alexander Cook, number three. Great wing back on the right hand side will take this throw in. Looking to create something. Plays it down the line to Daniel Leal. Daniel Leal with two men on him. Manages to spin out almost. Now Winchester throw on the left-hand side. And miscommunication, and Winchester ultimately gets the throw. Number five from Winchester. And number five will throw it long, but Alex Serve sees it out. And that looked to be off of Winchester, actually, as Belmont gets the throw in again. Alex Cook, once again, with the throw opportunity. 
He's going to play down the line to Daniel Leal. Daniel Leal almost gets a head out of it. Uh, Andrew Schreiner right there. Plays it back to Sajal Kenkri. Sajal, lovely piece of footwork. Almost finds. And now Winchester will have a counterattack. On the run is number 11. And lovely block by Nikola there to let the danger go out. And Sam Kutzman will clear the ball. Winchester now with a substitution. Number three goes on for number 11. Great shift there by Winchester, number 11. And now Andrew Schreiner will clear the ball from a dangerous Winchester throw. And Lawrence, Lawrence two on the blue. it. Shervella, over, oh, just almost over the head to Danny Liu. That's what Lawrence can do there. He can take the ball into space and try to find that through ball. Almost did on that play. And Winchester has it again. So much space in the middle there. And he's on. He's offside, just offside. Good chance there for Winchester. And looks like Andre LeShiner is warming up on the sideline. Fantastic striker. He had a good performance last game against CRLS. Sam Kutzman finds the ball to Owen Filler. Megs, Winchester player, and now Sato Kenkre will gain it. Goes and past one. And forward. Goes past one. Back to Alex Serve. Sees Alex Cook checking in. He's going to play back to Satchel. Satchel cannot turn. A miscommunication there from Belmont. And Satchel, unfortunate slip. Winchester will look to counter, and Andrew Schreiner. Great effort on defense, unfortunately. Just had him a little bit too much on the back, and Winchester will get a free kick around the 27-yard line. What can they create out of this free kick? I imagine out of their 20 goals they scored this season, many of them have been through set pieces. Let's see what they can do. Can you hear me? Okay. My apologies to everyone back at home. And ball into the box. Oh, that's a shot, I think. Just not there for number nine. Thomas Borkowski will have another goal kick opportunity. Plays it short to Alex Duda, the center, center back. Schreiner checking in. Finds the gap in between the defense. Lawrence, the satchel. Goes through three players. That's absolutely brilliant. Now Nikola on a breakaway. Finds. Looks to be like Owen Filler on the left-hand side. Owen Filler down the line. Cross, and Owen Filler again. And he chops back. Winchester wins it. What can they do now? Driving forward. She's number nine through. He gets there. Good turn. Hold off play. Number three driving forward. That's good. That's, no, that's some of the best build-up play we've seen all game from Winchester. Alex Hook, can he get there? He can. Ball still in play. You love to see that hustle in any sport, especially in soccer. Now Winchester deep in their own territory. That's got to be offside, and it is. Good call from the referee. And looks to have, looks like we have Alex Duda taking this free kick. And Alex Duda being told to back it off a couple yards. Now look to take advantage of this deep set piece. And on the sideline, we have Tomasa started. Donnie Hugh warming up. Looks to be going in soon. Satchel wins it. Oh, that's, that's dirty. Fans were looking for a call there, and nothing happened. You don't like seeing those kind of plays, though, in this, in this game. And Let's now, keep it classy. And now Andre Lesner is, Lesner? Andre Lesner, my apologies, is coming in to the game. Almost a goal there from Daniel Liu. Absolutely brilliant. Lawrence making a run in. Oh, and Andre gets there. Lawrence. Now Winchester on the breakaway. Number 13, the captain. And a bit of aerial battles right here. Winchester looking to play the deep through ball. Alex Duda 
And Winchester player gets their dude is on the ground. Nikola, good, good work rate to get there. Lovely play. Now Schreiner will find Owen Filler on the left-hand side. Owen Filler brings into the middle. Owen Filler, pass one. The Schreiner, one, two with Owen. Oh, he just can't get there. You hear one of the fans saying good idea. I completely agree. And so now it looks like we have a set piece uh, to Winchester. Number 12 looks to be Kate taking it. And timeout, timeout call. Not sure by what team, but timeout nevertheless. And both teams will be looking to. Looks to be Belmont as they are more urgent with this call. Everyone huddling up, getting water for the players on the field. And both teams look to be having a word. So far, this game's been it's been pretty competitive for both teams. I would say Belmont has had the slight edge on the opportunities, but Winchester have been, looked fantastic on the counterattack. And honestly, the two teams are like they're very different. Winchester seems to like a lot of those deep through balls from their back line. Belmont mm -hmm. seeming to play a little more build-up play through the center and through the center mids. So we'll see how this interesting matchup plays out towards the end of the first half now with nine minutes to go and then uh, during the second half. Here's some music being played in the crowd. Looks to be one of the uh, popular pop songs on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> and Captain Gimby Bay is leaving the stands. JV Captain Gimby Bay. JV team of Belmont, also a fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't say fantastic today. It was a 2-0 defeat to also Winchester. And the themes within the two teams, you know, Winchester with those through balls and those counterattacks, it really seemed prevalent in both teams today. The varsity and the JV have similar play styles. I would say Belmont does as well. Uh, you can see the excellent job by coaching staff from both teams and the fact that their play style runs down even through the JV to where everyone can see it. And we'll resume play here with 9.01 left in the first half. And with a set piece from Winchester in their own territory at the 40 yard line. And looks like uh, the marching band has just finished with their practice. Will they be coming out, performing for us? Hopefully. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. On soccer night, I know they will be. Let's look forward to that. We love seeing the band have some extra energy and oomph into the team. Always love to have them. Belmont Band, of course, one of the leading programs in the state. I know that. That's fascinating, Andrew. I used to play in the in the orchestra myself. I was a pretty good violist. You know, in my time is time is run out as a violist, but you know, we're off to different things now. Of course, multi-talented commentator and Iggy Matora is right here. As he just said, he did play viola in the school orchestra. Also a captain on the Belmont Boys Junior Varsity team and looking to have a good season this year mm -hmm. and lead the JV team to victories. Yeah, I said, uh, I said it's a pretty good description. I definitely want to help this JV team be as successful as they can. It wasn't a great start to the season, but let's focus on to the varsity team now. And now Tomas Estrada Donahue retains the ball. You love seeing Tomas' impact as soon as he gets into the game. Now Thomas Borkowski with a booming what a, clear. What a ball to Andre, and Andre can't quite get there. Now Tomas, Tomas wins the second ball. Down to Andre, and number five will clear it out, but only to Andrew Schreiner, and serve with a great step, and they'll see it out to the middle, and now number three on the left-hand side for Can Winchester. Can find 11 through? He tries to but he cannot quite find him. Thomas has so much time throughout the back now. Thomas plays the ball out down the right-hand side to Lawrence Two. Lawrence Two fighting for the ball and Winchester shields it well. Number five looking for options. You see number 11 checking in and he goes to number 10. And number 11, oh, that is, that looks bad. But everyone walks it off. Not as bad as I thought. 
possibility for a dangerous play there. But luckily, everyone walks away okay. Now Winchester will throw it long into the box. Number five, Andrew Schreiner will clear it out, and Lawrence, too, will clear it out to Andre Leshner. Andre with a good attempt of a touch, and, and now Satchel, Satchel on the breakaway. Good run from Andre. Satchel continues to drive forward, and number eight from Winchester wins it. And the goalie, back right to Satchel. What can he do out of this? Can he get a shot off? Oh, and high and kick. High kick, foul for Belmont. Set piece, we know what Satchel can do with these. This is very high probability to be a goal. He did this during Summer League for St. John, against St. John's, and you know, you just love to see it. So, the ball will be on the approximately the 17 yard line. We'll have Satchel Kenkre lining up to take the shot. Satchel, left footed player, very good on set pieces. And there should be a great goal scoring opportunity here as he lines up. Let's we'll see what he can do. You think he'd be going into that top right corner? He goes, ah, oh, just over. Let's see if we get any more of those tonight and they can capitalize off any of them. And now Winchester will play it short for the goal kick. Great press by Andre Leshner right there. Right back takes it up. Will play down Long to ball. Andrew Schreiner. And Schreiner just misses it. You don't see that very often. Number three, driving. Number 10, can he get there? Good interception from Duda. Duda has been a brick wall at the back today, letting nothing past him. And number five will play it down the line to number three. Number three looks to cross it back over, clear by Andrew Schreiner. And it's actually to Tomas. I've added him for that, Andrew. And clears long. And now Owen Filler to Andrew Schreiner. And driving forward, who was that for Winchester? Number seven. 11 breaks through. You cannot break through Belmont's three in the back today. It looks absolutely brilliant. Tomas. Great header from Sam there, and Winchester will look to build out the back play the through ball to Alex Duda who heads it away and Schreiner will take control. Lawrence two out there, plays Nikola into space. Good work from the freshman. Owen Feather driving forward. Feather slips. And Winchester, can they capitalize off this opportunity? Winchester on a breakaway and Good step by Sir. So hard to beat Belmont's three at the back. Oh, on his left foot, cuts inside. Absolutely brilliant from Alex Servatopoulos. And Alex might have just saved a goal scoring opportunity or a possible goal there. For one, Winchester. One on one and just sees it out. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Way to save your team there. And is that another corner for Winchester? Yes it is. Winchester with another corner. And number two has it. What can he do? Oh, is that a Meg? You don't see those very often. And Ball Boy on the other side once again with the great hustle. And a great throw. <laughs> what can Winchester do here off this throw in? Number 10, what a creative player he is tonight. And oh, it's up into the air off Schreiner. And Belmont is so good at winning those second balls. You see them win almost every single one. And now Winchester, I believe that's number two. We'll throw it in down the line. Winchester and oh, a bit no of a foul on the call, but oh, brilliant, brilliant. And but Winchester wins it back. Number six. 
and Max Katz is going to the game. Number two and number nine for Winchester. The goal, the guy who scored on soccer night two years ago, is going back into the game. And sophomore Maxim Katz, number two, will be going into the game for Andre Leshner. Applause in the crowd for Max Katz. What a player he is. His first minute as a varsity player. Now Winchester looks to be on an offensive. Andrew Schreiner will see the ball out, and Lawrence with a good clear down the sideline to Satchel Kenkeri. Looks like Max is playing the striker today, an unusual position for him, but you know, people have to adapt. Good pressure for Max. Great work rate right there, sprinting to the other side of the field. Absolutely brilliant for Max Katz. That's what the press is all about. Seeing guys hustle like that. And Nicola has it. Sam Kuzman, absolutely brilliant in the air today. He's in, I don't think he's lost a single aerial duel, am I wrong? And Nikola to Schreiner. Look at that link-up play. Oh, and Tomas driving forward. What can Lawrence do out of this? Number three. Three and a breakaway. Finds 11 down the line. And Duda clears it out. Now, number five on Winchester with a throw. And Duda once again. And Duda and that's going into the stands. Not quite, not quite. That is halftime. That is halftime. Brilliant half from the two teams. Hopefully the next one can be even better with some goals, hopefully. Good halftime talk from both teams, and now we'll see the second half of action here in Belmont at Harris Field. And Belmont will be going from right to left, Winchester from left to right. Winchester, of course, with the white jerseys, and Belmont with the maroon ones. My mic on? Forever back at home? Yes, it is. Let's get rolling with some nice under the light soccer. 40 minutes in the half. Beautiful game we have right here. I'm again, just for everyone who missed it last time, I'm with Andrew Gah. We're both sophomores at Belmont High School, and we're looking forward to some nice soccer. Let's get it going. And we'll start with a clear on the right side, right-hand side. Uh, the far side by Alexander Servitopoulos. And now we'll have Winchester with the throw in, and excuse me, never mind, it will be a Belmont throw in. Alex Cook with the throw. Wingbacks usually taking the throw as always. And that's a pretty long throw. And Winchester has it here. They get a shot off. Good clear by Sam Kutzman. And, and good Paul. save by Thomas Rakowski. Absolutely brilliant. And who is that? Who is on the ground right now? Oh no, a Belmont player. Looks to be injured. Never mind, he's back up. He's back looks up. To be Alex Duda. Alex Duda. He's walking it off. That's worrying for everyone. You never like to see injuries. And Sam Kutzman will play it into Nikola Stefanovic. Handball from Winchester, number seven. And Belmont's going to look to play it quick here. Nikola. It's going to just play it. Nice ball back to Alex Duda. Duda is going to take it up the middle. Find Nikola again. Nikola turn. Nikola plays Satchel. Satchel Kankere, number 10, with the ball. Driving drives. forward. And intercepted by number two for Winchester. Winchester getting off to a hard, hot start here and here in the half. Number seven. Oh, plays it through to number nine. And he Winchester. There. And, and offside, oh. but he misses anyway. A dangerous, 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 dangerous opportunity. You see Winchester, that's how they score their goals, running in behind. It's happened so many times this season, about 23 in the first three games, as we said before. They're a very high goal-scoring team, and you know you need to be careful for, for situations like that. And of course, since it's on offsides, we will have a set piece taken by what looks to be either Tom Sporkowski or Alex Duda. And it will be Alex Duda, number 13, a center back. We'll play it short to Sam Kutzman, the left back. Sam looking for options, going to try to ping it long and finds a lovely ball to Lawrence on the side. Now Nikola touches with his chest. Nikola wins that second ball. And Nikola is going to play it back. Oh, he 
Yes, Thunem, I think that's Belmont Ball. I know. Winchester, Winchester, the crowd was cheering for nothing. And we have number eight for Winchester here. And right out of bounds. So now we'll have Owen Filler, number 24, with the throw in. Owen, what can he do? We'll find Lawrence over the top. Lawrence with some space in the center. 50-50 ball, number nine gets a piece to it. And we'll see it with Alex, Alex Cook. Alex Cook hustling back to get the ball. But Winchester driving forward. They have a chance. Alex serves right behind him. And great defense by Alex serve there. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And we'll see the ball. Dangerous header by Winchester, number wow. nine. Wow, that's the first real dangerous chance for Winchester tonight. They had a lovely cross there on the far side. Looked to actually looked to be number nine or number 11. Winchester head got to the ball. Unfortunately, just a bit over the crossbar, but simply lovely play by Winchester. Now Thomas Borkowski of Belmont will try to find someone deep. Try to find Lawrence too. Number 12 on Winchester. Heads it out, but only as far as Lawrence. Now Daniel Leal with an opportunity. Gets forward. Lawrence and Owen Filler both hustling. And it looks like it's going to be Winchester throw. Now Winchester will clear it. Over Alex the top. Duda. Duda wins it in the air. Number 10 for Winchester. Has space. Is he going to take it? Off to the wing back. Number nine has it. Through. And cleared by Belmont. Now Alex Cook will actually win the header down the line. And Winchester will simply see it out on the far side for a Belmont throw. And Alex Cook is taking this throw for Belmont. And Patrick Tang is coming in for, looks like to be Andrew Schreiner. And now Alex Cook on the far side with a throw opportunity. He's going to find Patrick Tang almost down the line, and now Winchester will take control and play it to the right back. And through. But Tom is going to take his very, very calm touch. And will he pick the ball up, or will he just build out of the back? Let's see. He will pick it up in the end. Belmont pushing up. Hunted to, looks like to be Owen Filler, but Winchester wins that in the air. Number 11 for Winchester, driving forward. Number 7. And Patrick puts a tackle in that Belmont will eventually win. Dude, a lovely ball there to oh, almost Just to intercepted. Belmont, once again, controlling almost all the possession in the second half, as they did in the first half. Looks to be a occurring theme in this, in this game so far. And now Owen Filler with a throw on the near hand side. And Owen Filler will launch it down deep to Daniel Leal. Gets a header on it, actually, but falls to the Winchester center back. And serve pressing up. He gets there. Winchester under a bit of pressure. But just simply sees it out to the other side. Good step there from, Win from Belmont. And so Winchester will play it over, try to hit their number 10, but Duda sees it out once again. And Lawrence too with a header off a Winchester header. Patrick Tang follows it up. And Winchester will have the ball on their near ha far hand side, excuse me. And Alex Serve will clear the through ball from Winchester out for a throw in. And it will be another Winchester throw. Down to their number 10. Flicks it back heel to Winchester. No one there to receive the ball. Good clearance by Sam Kuzman. And it's going to be a throw in for Winchester. <laughs> it 
Throws it. Touch. And once again, cleared by Sam Kuzman. What a brick in the wall today. And they'll take a short. Number 10 with a cross. Thomas Borkowski clears it out. And number 7 with a follow-up oh, shot. Oh, wow. What a shot there. And number 8, Tomas Estrada Donahue will sub off number 10, Sajo Kankre. Excuse me. And who just came into the game? Was that Tomas Estrada? Yes, it was. And uh, seems to be a little mix up with the ball. You don't see that very often. And Thomas will get it for the upcoming goal kick. And balls in play. Owen Flish bringing back as he was getting water. And he gets the right. Oh! Daniel Liu almost with a fantastic way to trap that. Can Cook intercept it? Not quite. Now he'll play it to number six from Winchester. Through ball to number 11 with a simply lovely first touch pass to number two. Unlucky right there. And Daniel Leo gets on the end of it. Dangerous opportunity. Daniel Leo down the line. Cuts it cuts back. back. Brilliant, brilliant. Patrick Tang has it. Through to Daniel. Good way to win that from Winchester. Oh, wow. That was Brexit. Brexit at its finest from Winchester. No nonsense defense. Winchester defensive line seems to have taken Paige out of English Sunday League with that clearance. Reminds me of a player, um, John Joe Shelby from the Premier League with Newcastle. You see him, he does a lot of plays like that. Now Alex Duda will get the ball, feeds it in to Lawrence too. And Lawrence beats him. Intercepted by Winchester. Winchester have a three on three, on three and Belmont. Never mind. <laughs> Belmont has that one. And Alex Duda will take it up the middle and finds Patrick Tang, who plays it back Patrick to Duda. Duda. Tries to find Filler, but just not quite there. Now, Satra Kankre will sub back into the game. And Owen Filler with a long throw down the line to Daniel Liu. Daniel Liu in hot pursuit, number 12 with a beautiful clearance. And it will fall back to Owen Filler again, who heads it, but only to the Winchester defensive line. And now, Lawrence too will find himself with a bit of space and unfortunately touched right there. Winchester sees it out. And the ball stays in. And Belmont loses it. Number 10 trying to create something. You just cannot get past Belmont today. It's been a defensive master, oh, defensive master class, as I was saying, but Winchester wins that one in the 50-50. Finds him wide. He's going to cut in and shoot like most wingers would. And Lawrence with the hustle to win that one. Brilliant from Lawrence, too. Oh, and a massive call right there from the referee. Wait, is that? Looks like it's going. It's going to Belmont. <laughs> it's a free kick to Belmont right there, and Belmont will retain possession with a set piece. Not what we were expecting, but I won't say we'll take it, but um, interesting, inter interesting call from the referee. And Satchel. And Lawrence get there. Yes, he can. Winchester plays a through ball to number seven. Number seven will find, and nope. Alex serve solid. And long ball. Can Sam Kuzman settle it? Right out of bounds. It's okay though, we take those. And Winchester with a throw into number seven, the captain. Number seven under heavy pressure by Sam Kuzman. What Floats a ball it into inside. the middle. header. Saved by Thomas Brakowski. Brilliant. Round of applause in the stands from him. 
for him. And Thomas will roll it out for a kick. And he finds Owen Filler. What a ball in the South Carolina okay. Winchester has it. Winchester driving forward. Can he get a shot off? Goal! Russell and Winchester. Beautiful wow. goal by Winchester what a right goal there. Winchester. Absolutely phenomenal. They're in the corner. They're celebrating. Their fans are ecstatic right here in Harris Field. Look at their away stands. Absolutely happy. <laughs> And they wow. should be this happy because that was a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. He is shushing the crowd, number nine. I don't think he's even the one who scored the goal, but wow. Way to put a statement on it. Yep. The away standards are hitting the gritty in this. In the, wow, that is, that is disrespectful. I've never seen something like that in my life. The gritty in the away stands from every single one of them. Unbelievable behavior. The gritty. A dance created by Justin Jefferson back in, uh, a couple years ago. Justin Jefferson, a phenomenal NFL player for the Minnesota Vikings. And, and Daniel Liu gets it right away. Can Dan Belmont get a quick one? Daniel finds Andrew Schreiner. Schreiner, lovely back heel pass to Alex Cook. But Alex Cook can only kick it as far as the Winchester center defensive line. And Wow, that is another no-nonsense like John Joe Shelby <laughs> back in England. It's rumored that Winchester players shout have it every time they clear the ball. <laughs> have it. <laughs> and another ball. Can we get, get the quick one too was stated by um, Alan Smith and Martin Tyler in FIFA 23. You know, they've been a really big inspiration to me throughout the years. I've played a lot of FIFA in my lifetime and um, they're some of the best commentators in the game. And Daniel Liu here. On a breakaway. Down. And oh, the Winchester line clears it. Patrick nice for Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, lovely ball. through ball to Alex Cook. Is that a penalty? No, it will be a, a corner, corner kick. for Belmont. And seems to be a lot of shrieking by... Delicious. Birds or some <laughs> other unidentifiable animal in the opposing stands. And so Sacho Kenkari will bring it in near post. Post move a little, I think. I think the uh, goal actually moved a little bit, but nonetheless, not a goal. If we revisit the Winchester goal a little bit, simply lovely play through the center. They found the through ball into the box and a brilliant finish by one of their players into the bottom right hand corner. Now Winchester will drive it up, play it down, lovely back heel pass from number seven and now number 10 with a breakaway opportunity. Number seven driving forward. What's he gonna do with this? Cross into the box, quick one, two for Winchester. Yes, and and goal! Another goal! Winchester, another one, the quick one, two was stated. And no, it was offsides. It was offside, offside. 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 Well, that's a controversial call from the referee. The and fans now. are absolutely mad. Offside. And now Belmont. <laughs> Owen Filler almost gets to it, brings it back, and no, it will be out. Just out of bounds. Winchester were at the corner flag. Fans were up and celebrating. Um, and then the yeah, offsides was called. Was, I, I've never seen something like that where all the, all the players are celebrating and Belmont just played the quick. Oh, timeout called by Belmont. And if you notice the lovely goal calls by my fellow broadcasting partner, Iggy Matores, he is, of course, of Argentinian origin. And as they do in South America, they have some of the finest goal commentary I've ever heard in my life. You know, that's re really where I get all my inspiration. They, um, they have some fantastic, fantastic ways of commentating down there. And it's really, tr truly, the, it's really nice to see being brought up here, you know? And so both teams will get a chance to recoup. Uh, 24 minutes and 35 seconds here left in the second half. Winchester up one to nil. And 
on the Belmont side, Coach Neiman Kenkre giving some inspirational words and directions to his players over there. Belmont will be looking to bring this one back from a one goal deficit as Winchester look to extend their league lead. And some good words from their head coach too. I've gotten some word from back at home that um, fellow JV teammate Evan Yorkin is watching. I just wanted to shout him out. What a, what a performance he had today. Brilliant, brilliant striker for the future of Belmont. One of our best attacking talents here in the program, Evan Yorkin. He's been a star ever since he was a kid. Now Belmont will look to get restarted. Or Winchester. No, it will be Winchester. Really Winchester, yes, Andrew. <laughs> Apologies to the, <laughs> to the fans at home. <laughs> And Sam Kuzman has it. Lots of yelling from the Winchester stands in the back there. I'm sure it's very motivational for, for the fans to um, show on their players like this. Great moment here. It's always fun being in the away stands with everyone hating on you and, you know, putting in that, that spirit for your, for, your, um, for your town. Exactly, just really hating right back at the home fans. And really showing just how much the game has grown here in the U.S. Um, I you know. Yeah, I completely agree, Andrew. You weren't seeing this kind of passion for, for a high school soccer team around 10, 15 years ago. I wasn't alive, obviously, but I've, I've heard rumors. And now soccer is one of the most passionate, passionable sports. Oh, free kick here from Winchester. Deep and fine. And just wide. And what a play by Winchester right there. Number seven with the brilliant yeah. free kick over and everyone's head. What a run in uh, from the Winchester player. He almost got there. Back to what I was saying, soccer has become one of the most popular sports in the U.S. It's just continuing to grow, and it's really amazing to see. You know, I'm sure you guys are aware that it's the most popular sport in the world, and its growth in this, the United States of America is really, really beautiful for everyone involved. And of course, the MLS in America here, one of the rising leagues with uh, Leo Messi. Leo from Messi, he's, he's, an, he's an okay player, you know. Um, Decent touch sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's okay. He's all right. But, you know, he came, he came to the States, and he's been doing pretty well, helping his team win a trophy. And, you know, he's a, he's a decent player. One for the history books. And Thomas Furkowski kicks along. <laughs> and Daniel Lee pressing. Belmont has it. And, of course... Uh, Speaking of MLS, we cannot forget the Chinese Super League. The Chinese Super League. We've had um, they had the, their big takeover back in 2016, where when Argentinians um, Carlos Tevez and Ezekiel Lavesi went there, and sort of died off since. But you know, you hope to see the future in China is um, continuing to grow, and they have a good good soccer program. Chinese Super League, obviously one of the top five leagues in the world. That's a very hot take, Andrew. I'm not sure if I agree with you on that one. And um, anyways, oh, a player is down, player is down. And oh, Winchester nearly had an opportunity there. They just couldn't quite grab hold of it. And so Alexander Cook, number three, will have a throw in on the far side. And the ref was not having that. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but. Oh, they're making hand signals. And Alex Cook will bring it back to uh, Alex Serve, who can clear it out. And just a bit of a miscommunication there from Belmont. And with 21 minutes left in the second half, Belmont and Winchester, of course, both have some time to either extend their lead or get one back as Winchester will find their player. Number 13, captain in the middle, who shifted off the right back, right back. Lovely ball to number seven. Number seven on the right wing. Through ball to number two, and good clear there by Alexander Duda. And so, 
Thomas Forkowski. He will take the goal kick for Belmont. Still 20 minutes left in the game. You know, there's still plenty of time for Belmont to score a goal here and maybe even score two. We'll see what happens. And so, Tom Swarkowski, booming kick up to the 50-yard line. Owen Filler knocks it on forwards. Now Winchester will have a little bit of pressure here. But they just simply choose to clear it. And ball in, down to Sachel Kenkere. Sachel onto his left foot, what can he do? Beautiful step there by the Winchester player. Nikola Stefanovic will shield it out. And it will look like Owen Filler with a throw on the near hand side, near side. Andrew Schreiner checking in, will turn. We'll try to find the switch here. Andrew Schreiner, ball down to Cook. We'll flick it on. Fortunately, a bit too far, but good idea. Now Winchester on the counter. And Oh, it's a very high ball. Patrick Ting's in the air. And Belmont presses up high again. Daniel. Daniel. Owen. Owen, one on one. And, and he just can't get there. Oh, Brilliant beautiful. Play. Brilliant beautiful play slide from Winchester. Beautiful slide from Winchester right there. Good defensive effort. And once again, they had a lot of energy from the fans, especially the away fans tonight. Wow, that's it's phenomenal. And now... Some, um, some unholy chants from the fans in the crowd saying, this ref sucks. You know, it's not always nice to say that to the referee. They're trying their best out there, and I do not agree with that, with that chant. Refs, of course, work very hard to not only get here on time and provide the players with an opportunity to have a ref, but of course you have to remember that they are trying their best. We only have two refs on the field, and of course they are trying their best to make the best calls. And dangerous free kick. Unfortunately, lets it all through, and now Winchester with a chance to counter. Brings it back. Dangerous. And oh, finds number 13 in the middle. Touch from number 13. Alex Cook stumbles there and can't quite get there. So Winchester, deflection off Alex Cook. And now down to Daniel Leal. Daniel Leal down the far hand side. And, and that looks to be a corner for Belmont. Very enthusiastic fan, encouraging the players to go all in on their remaining 17 minutes. I love that. I love that from the fans. And looks like Sasha Kenrike is going to be taking the corner or doing a short with Andrew Schreiner. We will see. Sasha, of course, you're going to be looking for a curling left-footed cross over here. It is one. And he gets that. Parried in the box for a little bit. Clears out to Andrew Schreiner. Schreiner with the Has shot. Has it? Oh, not quite. Good pressure from Belmont. That's what we want to see. 16 minutes of pure intensity from Belmont is what we need right now to keep our undefeated streak alive. And the crowd is starting to rile up a little bit, get some energy going, especially in the student section. Blackout theme for tonight. Mix up over there. And now, and number seven it. is through. Can he capitalize? What a save by Thomas Brakowski! That is absolutely brilliant. Beautiful wow. save. Just wow. No words to describe that save. That Thomas was going Brakowski. top left corner, and Thomas, obviously, a very talented goalie. That's just truly amazing. Thomas Brakowski, of course, uh, one of the top talents in Middlesex at the goalkeeper position. He won the Golden Glove Award last season for the Middlesex League. He's only the sophomore, he's a current junior. And Andrew Schreiner putting in the work to get there. Can Filler do it as well? Yes, he can. Good work rate from the two, from the two juniors. Yeah, 
and we'll see um, Patrick Tang, uh, never mind, Owen Filler with a throw in on the near hand side. Plays it to Nikola Stefanovic. Nikola back to Owen Filler. We'll play back to Sam Kutzman, who boots it long for Daniel Leal. Can't quite get there. Absolutely Brexit once again from the Winchester back line. And Satchel Kenrick, a good, perfect touch. What a ball to, to Alex Cook. Back to Satchel. Good link up play from the two. And he fakes him out completely. What, that's brilliant. Satchel lays it off for Patrick Tang. Patrick Tang makes two men slip. And foul, foul. Free kick is well on, and that has got to be stoppage of play. It has got to be stoppage of play. He kicked that ball miles back to Talos Burkowski. And from the home fans, we have chance of you can't do that directed at the Winchester player who committed the foul. What can stop for Kendrick Ekri off this? Is he going to shoot? Is he going to play a ball in? My prediction is he's going to shoot this. What do you think, Andrew? I think we're going to see an attempt on to the left-hand top corner. Oh, Nicola course. making a run in behind. No one seems to be on it. And it goes over. Crosses it in. Bounces around to the box, and Winchester will no see it out. No one is quite there. Thomas Rakowski coming out. And he gets that. Header from 13 of Winchester. Back to number two of Winchester. Kent Great, Sachel, sends it down. And, ooh, number two, good defensive work. Ball behind to Winchester. Winchester on the counter. Thomas, the sweeper keeper. That's amazing. And the ball's still in play. What a ball that was, Andrew Schreiner. He's rolling off the field. Body feints. Schreiner gets past him. Oh. And now, number 12 of Winchester gets past two, but Sam Kutzman will knock it out of bounds. And JV coach Coach Orlando touches that ball and keeps it, doesn't keep it in play, but stops it for the Winchester player. Number two will take that throw in. Now, uh, Sam Kutzman will clear it out, only into the middle though for Winchester, scoop it back up. Number seven, plays it back on. Lovely one, two, finds number seven Winchester, again. Thomas, there again. Owen Feller has time. He, does, he takes that time. Nikola has it. See Satchel on the left side. Gets it to Daniel Liu. Daniel going around him, cuts it back. Two man miss. Still has it. And that's a foul. And Daniel Leo, excellent work rate. Made three defenders miss and will now have another. Satchel Kenrike on the, on the free kick for Belmont. That's it. it. Owen Filler. Oh, oh, almost. Great work there from the Belmont lads. And now substitution right here. Lawrence to number 16. Freshman will sub off what looks to be like for Alex Cook. And good shift by Cook on the far hand side as a wing back. We'll play it in as a corner. And Winchester will have a throw in on the far hand side. And Winchester. Will knock it out long to Alex Duda of Belmont. Thomas has it in the back. Boots it forward for Patrick Tang. Wow. Number seven's through. Kenny. Number seven. He scores another one for Winchester. Yeah, go Lazo! Winchester! Wow, that is. You know, that was truly phenomenal as a goal. You see the away stands going crazy. I do should. see the away stands. All the players over there and fans are jumping up and down. 
being static, and they should be because Winchester just had a lovely bit of play. Flick on header down to number seven, got past this man and slotted it into the goal. And with only 10 minutes left in the game, Belmont needs there. Someone called out timeout for not sure which team, but Belmont needs a lot of motivation here. And it looks like they're going to get it with this timeout. Let's we'll see what they can create. Anything is possible, you know? That's what um, Celtics legend Kevin Garnett said after winning the 2008 championship. And, you know, it's a quote that you should live by anything is possible. An inspirational quote there from Kevin Garnett. And another one from Michael Jordan here. Uh, Michael Jordan once said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games 26 times. I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. Felt over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. And that is why um, everyone should have hope in the stands today, and everyone should have some sort of inspiration and motivation. Michael Jordan. It's a quote by, um, by Michael Jordan. It was rehearsed in the JV group chat by... Absolute legend, Mason Mac Bremen. What a, what a game he had today for Belmont, putting in the ultimate hustle. And Belmont breaks it down. Now, Iggy, what, what do you think has been the most impressing aspect of Winchester's game tonight? Winchester's game tonight, it's surely been their counterattack play. You know, Belmont's been controlling the possession and all of that, but Winchester, when they have their when they see a chance, they take it, they make it. That's well said from you. Absolutely perfectly said. Winchester probably with less possession than Belmont by, by a far. significant by margin. A long shot. But they seem to have converted on any opportunity they might have had. Capralico on every single chance. Patrick absolutely makes the defender dance. Ball in behind. Right to the goalkeeper. Good idea though from Patrick. Winchester goalie looking for his players to go up and tuck, and he will boot it long. And Lawrence, too, there to cover the Winchester player, and they'll kick it back, and it will be a Belmont throw in. And the ball will now fall to Sam Kutzman. Good header from him. And down to Andrew Schreiner, who knocks it on for Daniel Leal. But Winchester, once again, just with perfect defense right there. Nothing can seem to get past the defensive line. And now, looks like Belmont will have a throw in on the far side. Lawrence to freshman number 16 with the chance. And uh, now Alex serve as the opportunity to play along for Daniel Leal. And he has it cleared by the Winchester keeper. And so Iggy, I know they may have the deficit at the moment, but what do you think has been the most impressive part of Belmont's play today? Uh, Belmont's play today, you know, it's been how they've really controlled this game. It's just the only problem is they haven't capitalized on their chances. They have had most of the possession, good link-up play. They've had very good chances that we saw in the first half and even in the second half with, the, with that free kick. And really it's just about taking those chances. Winchester's done that, and that's why they're in the lead today, Andrew. And they did, I think, hit the crossbar even in the first half. They did, they did, that's correct. Who's taking this free kick? Is that? It looks to be uh, Sachel Kenkre, captain number 10. Just making sure he's pretty much on every free kick. What a player he is, committed to Dickinson College. And looks like a bit of a scuffle going on. Ball into the box. Can we get a head on it? Nikola out and gets stuffed by Winchester, but Nikola retains the ball, plays it out wide to Sam Kutzman. Into the box, and oh, Winchester clears. No, I, I would have tried a bicycle kick there, Andrew. I think a bicycle kick would have certainly been a very extravagant opportunity. Of 
course. Oh, when a Winchester player slips, can they capitalize off this? You know, when um, Steven Gerrard slipped in the, uh, I'm not sure what the year was, but they actually won Chelsea the league and Liverpool lost it. So a slip is a very, very dangerous opportunity for the defending team. It's all you need. Liverpool fans and Red fans won't like to hear that one. I'm sorry for all you guys back at home who support Liverpool. I'm actually an, uh, an Everton supporter myself, so, you know, Merseyside is blue, as I like to say. And, of course, um, both of us are in pain, uh, Iggy supporting Everton and me supporting Man United. It's very, it's very bad. But another team that I do like is Barcelona, and they had a phenomenal performance today against Antwerp in the Champions League, 5-0 win. And I also, my Boca Juniors won 3-0 today against Cordoba. E, yeah, that's all you need. A win from your team makes your day. Hopefully we can get, get one from Belmont as well. That would make it even better. And it's over. Owen. Driving in. Gets it to uh, Lawrence. Plays him. Cuts it back. Owen, still with it. And he just can't. That could be a penalty. Controversial call from the referee. Good block by Sajal Kenkre there. Nikola Stefanovic, number 21, with the ball. And good defense by number 11 from Winchester. Free kick taken quickly. You guys get past those. And a foul. Foul from Belmont. Winchester Still. player. Still five minutes left, plus out of time. What can they do off this? And what was that? And looks like you ref. You hate seeing that. You hear some fans saying yellow card, and I agree with that. When the ball is kicked out of play by the opposing team on the home team's free kick, it's just it's not, it's not sportsmanlike. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Andrew. And the ball in from Satchel. What a ball. Can someone get there? No one can seem to get their head on it today. I don't know what's going on. Belmont just not able to connect on their set pieces, and that is proving crucial to Winchester's lead right now. Alex took Cook going back in for Andrew Schreiner. And looks like Lawrence, too, will be... Oh, no. And so Winchester now with 4.50 left in the second half will boot it up for a goal kick. Patrick Tang, number seven, good header. Daniel Liu. And oh my God. Daniel Liu. Lawrence plays it in. Picks it up. And unfortunately will go out for a Winchester throw in. Daniel Liu did a roulette between two Winchester defenders. What a phenomenal skill. I'm pretty sure it's a four star skill move on FIFA. And another roulette, wow, common theme here. <laughs> wow, you don't see that very often. You just saw it twice in maybe a matter of 30 seconds. Impressive from Belmont. Looks like Belmont has a lot of four-star skill move players tonight. <laughs> number 17, driving forward, finds number seven. Looks at number 11, can they get another one? Through on goal. What a block by Sam Kuchman. Brick wall on defense tonight. You just have to applaud that type of defensive effort. Save the possible goal scoring opportunity. Completely agree, Andrew. Completely agree. <laughs> and now Nikola Stefanovic will try to bring it up. Nikola Stefanovic and nicely blocked. And a lot of aerial blocks tonight. And number two will boot it out for a Belmont throw. And the ball is in the stands. And Alex Cook will look to play down the line and parried back out. Let's go, come on, Belmont! 
That is a high, high ball. Can anyone control this? Number seven controls it quite well. Nikola Stefanov is driving into the... Oh, wow. Nikola all the way, oh. Not quite. And foul for Belmont. Winchester not happy with that as it stopped their breakaway, but looked like studs up from the Winchester player. I, I agree, yeah, that was a, not a great challenge. Fans seem to be astonished with that call in the away stand, but, you know, doesn't always go your way. In the box, Sam Kutzman. Can't get a volley on it. And ball heads into the Belmont High School parking lot. Wow. Oh, and someone throws it right over. One hits the bench. Can't quite get there. And with time winding down, you have to wonder, is Winchester lead secure or will Belmont find a miracle victory here? with probably around a minute remaining. This reminds me of the time when Rodrigo from Real Madrid scored um, two goals in one minute in the Champions League final against Champions League semi-final, my apologies, against Manchester City. Seeing something like that today would be, you know, one of the best moments that you would ever experience as a commentator. I've commented many good games on my day, but, um, you know, moments like that are really, truly special. Wins the header. Forward again to Winchester. Thomas clears it. Who's going to get there? The Winchester player is. Sam. To Owen. Oh, to, to Nicola, my bad. And foul for Winchester. And looks like they're going to slow the game down, push their team up, and hopefully the clock winds down for them as soon as possible. Of course, with a 2-0 lead like this, not much point as in uh, playing the ball quick so slowing it down it's the way to go it's the way to go and he looks like he wasted that opportunity they could have done a lot more with that been good on set pieces today Winchester but just not yeah, finding the right not ball finding there. the right ball there Thomas everyone's gonna push up and Thomas is gonna boot this as far as he can Winchester seems to be happy in the stands. Belmont, not so much. And that is the game, folks. Beautiful night of soccer for both teams. You know, performances like this as a Belmontonian is um, it's where you grow, it's where you learn. And we'll see you guys next, this Thursday, against Reading. This is Ignacio Mathoras and Andrew Gutt signing off.